while several financial institutions, including Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and JP Morgan Chase, have shown interest in the crypto space, Deutsche Bank is the first major bank to apply for a digital asset custody license. In my opinion, this sets a precedent and could encourage others to follow suit. If Deutsche Bank's license application is approved, it could mean a game changer for institutional investors. Currently, one of the barriers preventing large-scale institutional participation in crypto is the lack of secure and regulated custody solutions. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where we explore the latest trends in finance, technology, crypto, and everything else in between. In today's video, we have an exciting topic to discuss, Deutsche Bank's application for a digital asset custody license. And in my opinion, this is something that's very significant for the crypto industry because this has the potential to reshape the financial landscape. So if you guys are ready, let's dig in. Let's do this. Deutsche Bank is the largest bank in Germany and one of the largest banks in the world. What they did is they made a groundbreaking announcement last June 20, 2023 where the bank revealed that it had applied for a digital asset custody license with the Federal Financial Supervisory Authority, BaFin, the German financial regulator. If approved, the license would allow Deutsche Bank to offer custody services for digital assets such as Bitcoin and Ethereum. Bitcoin and Ethereum, the largest in the world, by the way. But what exactly does custody mean in the context of digital assets? It involves securely holding these assets on behalf of clients, ensuring their protection from theft, loss, or unauthorized access. This move by Deutsche Bank demonstrates a growing interest among institutional players in the crypto industry. It's a significant endorsement that could potentially legitimize digital assets and attract more traditional investors to this evolving space. But why is Deutsche Bank's application so important? First and foremost, it's essential to recognize the sheer magnitude of Deutsche Bank's influence. As the largest bank in Germany and one of the world's leading financial institutions, their entry into the digital asset custody arena carries significant weight. It's a clear sign to the industry that digital assets are gaining recognition and acceptance from the traditional banking players. Crypto as a whole is just a piece of technology. It's not a question whether adoption will happen and it's only a question of what part of the adoption cycle will you be in. Secondly, Deutsche Bank's application has the potential to pave the way for other major banks to offer similar custody services for digital assets. Yeah. While several financial institutions including Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, and JP Morgan Chase have shown interest in the crypto space, Deutsche Bank is the first major bank to apply for a digital asset custody license. In my opinion, this sets a precedent and could encourage others to follow suit. If Deutsche Bank's license application is approved, it could mean a game changer for institutional investors. Currently, one of the barriers preventing large-scale institutional participation in crypto is the lack of secure and regulated custody solutions. By offering custody services, Deutsche Bank would provide a safe and trusted environment for institutional investors to store their digital assets. This newfound confidence in the security of digital asset custody could lead to an influx of significant institutional capital into the crypto market. Increased investment could in turn drive up prices of cryptocurrencies benefiting existing investors and potentially attracting even more attention to the mainstream financial world. We find ourselves at a critical juncture for the cryptocurrency industry, where traditional finance and digital assets converge. Deutsche Bank's application reflects the growing majority of the crypto industry. In the past, banks were hesitant to engage with digital assets due to concerns about risks, about regulatory uncertainties. However, by seeking a digital asset custody license, Deutsche Bank is signaling that these risks are now manageable and that they believe in the long-term potential 
of cryptocurrencies. This is an endorsement from a very, very reputable institution like Deutsche Bank. And this could encourage other banks to enter the crypto space, fostering innovation and competition. As more traditional financial players embrace digital assets, this will further legitimize and create a broader sense of adoption for cryptocurrencies. But please do note this for those who have been following me for years, for those who have been watching, do remember that as a piece of technology, it doesn't matter if people believe it at first because the technology will speak for itself and adoption will happen we just don't know how fast it will be but based on what we're actually seeing it's following the trend of how the internet is to sum it up deutsche bank's application for a digital asset custody license is a significant development that carries profound implications it signifies the increasing institutional interest in the crypto space potentially legitimizing digital assets as an asset class Furthermore, if approved, it could open the floodgates for other major banks to provide custody services, facilitating the integration of traditional finance and the crypto world. It's not just anymore a bunch of retailers, a bunch of hobbyists, or a lot of people who believe in it, but we are seeing traditional people, people who hated it at first, people who didn't believe in it, now, they're the ones that are actually coming in. Because at the end of the day, those that don't come in will miss out on a big chunk of the innovation. They'll miss out on a big chunk of the possibility of what could be done in this space. Deutsche Bank and other traditional financial institutions don't make moves if they have not studied it, if it's not something that's very, very calculated. The fact that they're entering this space already speaks volumes. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I do hope you found our explanation of Deutsche Bank's digital asset custody application insightful. And I do hope that it's thought-provoking. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more updates on the latest trends and developments in the world of finance, technology, crypto, blockchain, Bitcoin, and so much more. If you want to know more about this and want to do a deep dive on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, I have an Investment 101 webinar. Links are in the description below if you want to know more about it. Remember, the future is unfolding in front of our very eyes. And we're here to guide you through it. Stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.